This is David Moss with BIC Trikes. I know we normally do motorcycle videos, but we're going to document me and my wife's 1980 Firebird Restro Mod. It's a formula right now, but we're going to turn it into a Trans Am with a 6.6 .6 with the shaker hood and everything. Right now, she's got the 4.9 turbo. Um, don't like that engine. I really like the 6.6 .6 with the shaker hood, so we'll change that out. And she, like I said, she's the formula, so she doesn't have the Trans Am fenders. We went and purchased them. And the major difference is that the Trans Am has the louver sitting right there. So I like that look. We also bought the uh, ground effects for underneath. And like I said, the shaker hood. Um, when, like I said, we're just going to document. It's not going to be a tutorial how-to, but it is going to be a document of what it looks like and what's going on. And like I said, you can see she is rusty a little bit. Uh, she's got some rust going on there and uh, we're going to have to clean all that up and get it fixed. We're going to paint it. Don't know if we're going to go original back to this call or not. You can see the rust that happens in that little piece right there. Of course that. And then uh, there's some rust here, but it doesn't matter. We're replacing the front fender. Like I said, we got Trans Am fenders that we're going to replace it with. Now I really don't like this kind of hood, so we're going to change it for the 6.6 .6 hood. There is no rust here. This is actually pretty good, but we're going to go ahead. And like I said, once again, I'm changing it so it doesn't matter. Now over here, there's some rust. There's a little rust on the door, but not much. But over here is our big rust spot. And you can see that's going to be a pretty good job. We also have the interior to do. And the interior of the dash is perfect. And that's what I really wanted. But the rest interior is kind of trash. The seats are worn. They're still there, no tears or anything, but they are worn out. The back seats look pretty good. Uh, so we're probably going to keep them the same. On the carpet, you can see the holes in the floor pan. You can also see the the interior right there. Where water got to it from the seals and just rotted that. Luckily, there's no rust in the door there. Um, we're just, like I said, we're just going to go through this whole thing and redo it. It's not T-tops. It is a hard top one. I've got to redo the back of that. We're also trying to glue right now this this um fuel cap one but if it don't work we'll just buy another one i just figured for now but and there's like i said some work to be done on it this is gonna be me and my wife's uh me and my wife's build project together for us to bond and uh we're just gonna have fun with it so we're not gonna do a tutorial we're gonna do what we've done how long it took i might even do a price sheet of how much everything costs so you know if you get one of these what it's going to kind of run you as far as that goes but you know uh we're really really looking forward to this so we're going to take this probably take this whole month off and just work on this interior i want to get the interior done first and then we'll go from there so here we are we've uh took out the interior we can see the floor pans bigger in day now you can see the rust holes that are there um how rusty it is and the channels here a little bit right there and then we did not think this at all but there's a big gaping hose on both of the seat pelt um terminals so that's going to be interesting i'm going to have to order that metal didn't plan on it you can see the rust over there um we took everything out we're going to clean it up to see what all i got to cut out we have bought complete floor pans um for front and back but now i've got to buy the um bucket pans for the seats so we're gonna buy those but uh kind of happens when you get into these project cars and you get working on stuff is that you find new things you didn't know was going wrong so there's my wife ain't she pretty she's over there smiling but it is what it is and you run little things like this this thing here when i went to take it off i found out ah, wells didn't hold so i'm about to fix that We'll get it put where it needs to be. I'll bring the interior in to make sure it's fine. And we'll tack weld that back in. But that's one of the things that happens. It's just what happens on these old Rustro Mars. We run into issues. It's a bad floor there. But we're going to get it all cleaned up. And we'll see what she looks like when I get some parts cut out. And we get it looking a lot better. This is Dave Moss again. Uh, it's day number two. I'm going to go ahead and call it quits. Uh, I cut out the panel, the bad spots. We've got some work to do there. As you can see, I've already cleaned it up. We're going to put some rust, stop rust on that. Weld in the holes there. You can see, we'll cut that out and take care of it. Make it look nice. We cut out all the rust here. We've cut this panel all the way off, as you can see, but uh, I gotta take care of the spot welds. 
and I'm trying to get these spot welds out and I'm just not not want to put a big old hose in it so uh, what I'm going to end up doing is tomorrow I'm going to go ahead and go to Harbor Freight and see if they have a spot weld drill bit that just for these so I can get all this because a lot of spot welds in this thing and I don't want to put a bunch of hose in the uh, railing and then have to fill them in with well because they're a big pretty good size spot hose uh, so I decided I'm not going to do that tonight uh, we can definitely come back to it but yeah you can see we had to end up taking out the the dash the we end up have to take out everything so I got everything out of here except for the whole dash I mean the glove box I pulled out um, the um, the box for the AC and for the floor pan AC and the heat took out I got all the stuff taken out but we got it all cut it's looking good <laughs> it's looking like uh my pans we set the pan in there to see what it'll look like as far as just on top of course not a but all the lines seem to line up just fine once we get it out we'll we're making this a little of course shorter smaller than the actual floor pan is we'll get it cut to fit we'll scribe it from underneath but yeah this is where we're at day one we took care of the all the stuff out of it okay this is david moss uh, we're still doing the trans am uh project um i got the pan cut out we were talking about yesterday we had to wait till today to get some stuff and then my wife uh, we cleaned off all the metal and got all the rust taken off and then she went ahead and adding this deactivator that kills rust so it turns it to to paintable so she's done all that she did a really good job and she's got to do another coat in 20 minutes and then we will have to let it set overnight and then tomorrow we're going to come in and i'm going to paint these black uh with some rustolia black to protect them because once we get the um the metal in there once we get the, the floor pan in you will not be able to get to these spots anymore so i was going to take advantage of this i'm going to spruce i'm going to shoot some uh some black on it then i'm going to shoot some rubberized, rubberized coating on top of that to give it the extra protection the reason why i'm just using the rubberized coating over time it'll crack but the black will stay true so it's going to give it two really good protections uh this car did not rust from underneath like normally here in indiana they rust from the bottom up actually they've been undercoating it so the underneath is really nice it rusted because of the windows leaking from the inside out so everywhere the windows were leaking the doors where they were leaking the seals so if you have one of these cars i'll tell you now if it's 20 30 40 years old and you haven't taken the window seals out i'd yank the windows out and replace the seals we're going to do the door seals we're going to do the window seal we're going to take all the windows out have them put back in have new seals put in them because that's where it's leaking at that's what caused that over there that's what caused this over here you go underneath and i was looking underneath when we bought the car and there was nothing but the floor pans were rusted and i should have thought why so a little tip for for future reference you can see right there at the door it's leaking at the door because of the seal being gone on it and that leak there caused that whole end to rust because it did not rust from underneath so underneath this thing it looks beautiful inside this thing looks awful so we're going to get rid of all that using the activator and then i was going to show you i'm working on the pan right now you can see i've got it mostly cut i just got to change my blade and the way i did that was this is the original pan i took out trying to keep it together as much as possible i put it on here and then the way i do it is is i use a tape that's wider so this is where the line was but i want to give myself a little bit so i put up against it and i put a piece of tape again on it and then this is going to be so it gives me that half inch three quarters of an inch wider and we'll cut that and then that give me a little play because i don't want to be uh i don't want to be under so it better be over and we keep working at it do a little at a time the thing on these when you're doing floor pans this is my first project that i've ever done a complete car that we're going to do but when you do a floor pan is a little at a time so and i still got to make that one there so we'll be doing that so tomorrow we'll probably get that one done uh paint the inside there and then put it in paint this and give it time to set and dry and then we'll undercoat it again but uh and like i said we're gonna get all that taken care of but yeah and then of course my beautiful wife it's all happy because in matter of fact she's dirty but it's mine and her project we also went ahead and touched these just to just to neutralize the rust so it doesn't get any worse for right now and then go from there and i'm no for a fact when we take this off this is not going to be my major issue we take this off most likely because of the the you can see it right there couldn't tell that before but see all that water this is probably damaged so when i take this off most likely we'll have to fix 
this right there it's not that big of a deal but it just sucks i mean it really does suck it takes time these are things that take longer time than how than anything else and if you're doing a project like this i'll tell you right now flap wheels the 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 wire wheels all the things you're going to use you're going to go through quite a few so we've been adding and adding every day i'm, I'm having to go to and get some more uh supplies that just just i tear them up simple as that um so just remember that i think right now we're still under with everything under six thousand dollars we bought it for five thousand i spent 600 bucks on new fenders or used fenders the floor pans um the under spoilers all that uh and then uh we started buying the stuff that we needed to do this i think i'm just under six thousand but like i said we'll keep you updated this is our trans am project it's david moss and god bless okay this is uh day number three of the trans am project and you see I finally got the front one already welded in and such but i finally got the floor pan in do have a little bit of gap right there it was perfect until i screwed everything down to pull it tight and it made a little gap no big deal you can fill that in so as you can see she's in and i went ahead and drilled pre-drilled the holes where the where the wells were and i put screws in them and I tapped them and then i'm gonna pull these out and i'm gonna weld that one at a time i'll fill up them both those holes so it will be like it is when you they weld it so that's it and then of course i put the bolts in to make sure i could clear for my seat see those are lined up everything's looking really nice came out pretty really good a little bit of beating because of the matter of fact it's not identical identical and just a couple little different things but that's what you're going to have like i said we're going to start welding on this and get this done and then start on the other side tomorrow and uh hopefully it don't take me three days but it probably will because i got a mercy break i got to take out a bunch of other stuff and then i'm going to paint the whole thing and then after we paint it uh we're gonna go ahead and uh put some sound de deadeners down and get this thing looking really good but like i said um came out pretty nice i'm happy with it we'll get it welded up and show what it looks like when it's welded up okay so we got the floor pan welded down i grinded it not perfectly smooth but grinded it went smooth enough and then of course painted it it was done done so i mean that's that's pretty i'm not gonna lie came out really nice so i got this side done i still gotta get that side done as you see the hole and then those gaping holes there just came in today the back end so i can get that taken care of because right there where those little holes are right here that's supposed to be seat belt uh uh bolts gonna do that i don't have those that completely rusted out so i've got to take care of that so that's our next thing after we get done with the driver's side floor pans what we're going to do next uh start that tomorrow and get it done and then next week i'll be putting this big bad baby in getting it taken care of okay here we are with one of the two pans replaced and as you can see looks pretty good got it on there got it looking nice had to fix that little back space right there too i think there's gonna be a small section back there on that one that's gonna have to be replaced but got it all worked out and looks pretty good this is david moss and we're working on the 1980 firebird trans am vehicle and you can see i got the floor pans done i do have to apologize um i uh was supposed to be documenting this whole thing we got the front pans in and then we went to do this one and we got it in and then when i went on that side there uh you can see the patch panels kind of going up the wall uh i had to rebuild the seat belt uh hump and then uh but before i did that i ran into the problem where i had to rebuild the um uh torque box which was fun and i have only a short time to do this and need to have it done by the beginning of the year uh, and of course right now we're i think three days from christmas so uh, we just i quit recording and just started focusing on getting that done so i had to rebuild the torque box i had to order the parts get them in then we got it done <clears throat> then i went ahead and did the plates you see and then of course i uh did uh put that in 
the, the plant pan. And so we got it all taken care of. It's all solid. I also ran into more of a bit of a rush issue besides just on the back end right there. It's how it goes in these old cars. So you'll notice when, we'll, when we come across here, to forget the mess, right down here, and you see that I replaced this metal here and got it all taken care of cleaned out and then i replaced that metal there and these holes you see are welds is why i drilled the hole and basically welded that so it's solid onto the other part and then of course the normal welds we'll clean those up and get those where you can't see them when it's all said and done you won't even notice they're there put a little fiber filler on that and call it a day i still have that to do but i'm gonna do that when i do the rear end because i got that a little hole right there as you can see on the frame and uh, we'll get that to ready we want to get everything on the interior done because next week see christmas is saturday so what i'm planning on doing is having this done um and pulled out put in the driveway with a tarp over it and then when uh um then we're going to go ahead monday i do believe it is my wife will going to redo all the interior she's going to uh uh re i don't know what you would call it but so re dye sorry she keeps calling it tanning but uh re dye all the interior we've got a brand new carpet going to be dropped down i'm gonna have diamond plates so my next thing i'm gonna do before then is i'm gonna put the dead sounding on here uh, uh to kill the sound and such i'll make it nice and then we'll be doing that then um, then we'll hopefully have, before the new year, have back in here, put the whole interior done, and then she's done for now. It'll be a little while before we do anything else, but she'll be drivable, and the interior will be completely mint. Everything goes well, and then the next thing that we're going to start is when we get done is we'll, uh, springtime, I'll start on the rust spots on the exterior. As you can see, I got a spot there. The worst spot is right. Sorry here that's the worst spot and i got two more little rough spots and then we're going to take the whole back bumper off and replace the that whole section there uh it's rusted and i just don't want to mess with just patching it we're just going to replace the whole thing and then um fix those two rust spots we'll be fixing these i will be welding this up before we leave it outside um <clears throat> and of course a little bit of rust there and a little bit of rust there put the new front fenders on it and get it ready to paint so we'll think in springtime around april may june i'll we'll probably take a couple of weeks and we'll get this thing setting up pretty and then hopefully by next summer um we'll be sitting pretty nice ready to paint the whole car and that's when we'll take the glass out. I know I'll have to have a tarp over it until then when it sits out in the weather, but we'll take all the glass out because this is where they leaked. So the glass will come out, that glass will come out, and we'll go ahead and do any body work that we need to do at that time. Put all the glass back in, uh, paint it, sorry, and then put all the glass back in and be done. So we're getting pretty good. I have to forgive my little <laughs> paint there. I used it to paint a uh, piece of metal. It ain't going to hurt anything, but I wanted to put some paint on it, back on it. So when I put it in, I didn't have to worry about bare metal being hit somewhere that could get rusted. But yeah, this is where we're at. Doing pretty good. Um, it was work. I'll tell you now, you get one of these cars, you think you got it down to what it's, what it's going to be, you're going to run into other issues. So like I said, ran into a little bit more rust issues. And I beat on this thing with a hammer until I find the rust, and we dare, we tear it out. We do it. I don't want to have any rust issues. Um, so we're it's coming around nicely. I uh, can't wait to get it running. We'll take it to some you know some cruise ends and such with it being nasty looking on the outside, but the inside being nice. And then, then like I said, when we get the interior, and of course, all we'll get once we get the body work done and the paint done, all new rubber, all new window seals. Everything that's with our money, and then that's when after that we'll be working on um, things like new rims and tires, and just you know doing the odds and ends, fix up the engine. That's when we'll go into the engine compartment. Four point nine runs good, but I'm going to yank it out, put a six point six four hundred Pontiac in there. So here we are on the nineteen eighty Trans Am Rusto mod that we're doing, and we got the pans in. I showed a little earlier. Now we got all the uh, sound deadener on it. 
my wife actually did all this she did a really good job so she took care of that we're about to throw the carpet in and then once we get the carpet in we're going to back this thing out of the out of the garage and we're going to go ahead and redo all the interior get it all looking new and then put it all in so it's going to be coming out really nice we're very close to having this thing done for this time until probably a year from now when we start doing the exterior real strong but it'll be drivable we get done with this part but it's coming together nicely i like it uh looks really good and then of course we got a dash mat to go over the dash once we get it cleaned um don't not sure what i'm gonna do about the doors that one looks good this one looks pitiful so i haven't decided i know i can get door scans for 400 dollars a set but you know how that goes you don't want to spend 400 dollars. you don't have to but we'll get it figured out so like i said this, this is david moss working on the 1980 rusto mod trans am and i appreciate you guys watching we'll see what it looks like with the carpet in okay so we got the carpet down uh not completed yet they said to put it out and let it set for a couple hours to let the foam uh start getting back like it's supposed to and everything settle so we're going to be doing that so i'm going to leave it overnight tonight we'll come back in tomorrow we'll trim it up get the carpet all set up the way we want and then i'm going to put the tires on this thing get it off the jack stands get it out of here park it in the driveway with a tarp over it and then let my wife start uh re-dyeing all the interiors and then this thing as far as the interior will be done like i said we haven't decided what we're gonna do about the doors but everything else is gonna be will be done and we'll be set for now oh that's why but nevertheless uh this thing is looking really good we like the carpet did really nice so uh see you shortly with the carpet done and what it looks like shortly okay here we are uh it's end of the month it's almost starting the new year uh this is thursday morning but um went ahead and got the carpet in the floor's been redone now the carpet's all in put everything up i know the seats ain't in yet i just got those to remark where the spots are spots are um you can see everything looking really nice carpet came out real good we re-dyed the side panels re-dyed the middle console looks different color right now but that's just because of light this is actually the exact same color but it just the light makes it look darker on that um everything came out really good really nice gonna get the seats done by friday shampoo them get them done then we'll put those in here i've got a couple more things still sitting here being done the handle yep i went to a handle so that pull that was black but now it's not but we're almost there like i said by this weekend we will have her together and have it driving although it's not going to be driving for us it's december going into january so we're not going to bring her out until springtime but i wanted to get it to just be nice on the inside so this is this is really nice on the inside um and then also a little crate holder i decided to go ahead and put the bird back here because i couldn't stand not seeing it a little gas fuel cover and this side you can see just let's see that time you can see it's the same color this looks really nice overall now the only thing we did not dye is the actual original and you can see we did do that it is a slight different but this is such a nice dash um later on we may decide to go ahead and take everything out and and dye it too but i mean really that dash is just really nice uh, my wife got me a dash cover which is a slightly lighter color um so it's i like it you know protect the dash from getting cracked or anything but yeah it's getting there we're getting there quick like so put all the exhaust all the you know, exhaust all the air ducts back in this thing was a pain oh my lands was it a pain but we got it all back together and i'll have to say this the factory get work was crap so i'll end up having to uh take some tape and tape some spots they had a gap and a half and i thought maybe it was me but nope can't factory that way you know how it was in the 80s they just put them together as quick as possible and didn't really worry about it but we got it all settled up and taken care of seat belts um you know it's gonna 
It's going to set up nicely. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about the ashtray. You can see I got chrome that's going. I don't like it. I'm going to try to build um, USB ports right there for charging stations for their phones. That way, if anybody's right in the back, nobody smokes anymore. It will not be smoking in this car, although they did. That thing had cigarette burns all over these covers, uh, but won't be anymore, so they can charge their phones instead. Like I said, uh, figure out what I'm going to do about that door there. We didn't dye the doors either because I haven't decided what I'm going to do. That door is a wreck. This door is not that bad. A couple little things, and it would be clean and nice, but I'm just debating about changing the hose style since I have a hoe here this uh i'm thinking about i'm trying out the strap idea and uh because these things are like well, 300 dollars for a set so before i dive into that it's 400 dollars for new door skin uh you know so that's uh quite a bit of money so i'm trying to figure out what i want to do and we're gonna probably leave that till spring summer because well honestly i'm budgeted out i put as much money as i'm going to in this thing uh, it's came out like i said honestly pretty nice um I'm really happy with the work and then of course on the exterior we did take care of filling in these weld that was rusted out a little bit and we filled it in with weld I'm gonna paint that for a park it outside and you can see the tarp i had it outside so we could do all the dyeing had the tarp over it and it rained every day and i was like oh no she's gonna get rusty so brought it back in the first thing i looked at not a lick of rust i was like man that that uh cover does a really good job also went and picked up me some uh for the driver's side some new rails because well it was rusted out and the feet were broke so we get to put those on and like i said we're gonna debate about dying the seats or not we dyed the back of them and it just the backs were just so awful that it didn't really i mean they're all scratched up so i don't know if i want to dye the seat Oops. or not don't know if i got enough but nevertheless uh it's david moss with my 1980 trans am uh rusto mod okay this is david moss uh working on the 1980 trans am resto mod and as you can see we got the interior done and the four pans have been done all that hard work we put new carpet we dyed everything we're going to redo the seats before it's all over with because even with dying the middle it still is worn but that's a later project back seats are in and it looks really good the only things that we had to do is the seat trim on the front and back and the door trim so you can see that one's bad that one over there's not so bad but we're going to go ahead and replace them later on um everything else is pretty much done it looks really good i'm really satisfied with it i'll tell you what i didn't didn't know if that uh trim die would work or not the sims trim die which is this right here is what we use the uh 15173 camel this did awesome i had to buy six of them and i still got about almost a full one left but uh it did everything we had some really really bad looking trim especially those there they were completely black looking and you can see they came out real nice they look really good um so we pulled everything out we dyed it we replaced everything from the floor on the floor pans all the way back came out real good everything's new so interior wise is really looking nice like i said the only thing we're going to do a little later on we're going to go ahead not budget it for right now get some new trim and foam because this one's broke down pretty good and then uh new door skins and then i'm going to go ahead this liner is actually stock it's got a lot of stains from when the windows were leaking and such uh so i'm going to um uh, get a new liner too, but that's that's all I have to do on the interior and it's completely done uh, Got a new emergency brake line. It works out great uh, Like I said really happy with it really ecstatic. So uh, Like I said, this is David Moss with the 1980 Restro mod I just want to kind of show it I'm gonna flip to the other side real quick and show that side off Okay, so this is the passenger side and as you can see it looks really well came out really good i'm just happy with it so now she's a running 
Trans Am starts, runs, put new brake lines in this thing, new floor pans. But uh, it'll be nice when the spring gets here. We'll be able to drive around as we fix it up. We still got a lot of work to do in the exterior, but still uh, setting up pretty nicely. Um, just really happy with it. So I'm excited. Can't wait to the spring to start driving it around. Um, I think it's going to get a lot of looks, even though she's not pretty. She's not perfect by no means. But now when you sit inside, at least you feel like she's a complete car. Uh, she's not bad. She don't have no floor pan issues. And we'll never have floor pan issues again. We've taken care of everything, including under spraying it, making sure that everything's protected. We're going to make sure she stays uh, you know, as good as we can for as long as we can. So thank you for watching. This is David Moss with our 1980 Trans Am Restaurant Mod.